Props for dummies. Well, when you walk up to the game, you think you think you're a dummy because you don't have an idea what's going on. So, I watched a few videos, and uh, you know they were saying, "Don't pick up the dice with both hands. Don't take the dice off the table." This is a homemade dice table. Uh, you could never play dice on it. It's made out of wood. But I want to get to the uh, basic ideas about dice. Um, I've made my own chips. Some $1 chips. Some $5 chips. And this is basically what a craps layout looks like, okay? But before we get into all that, I would like to explain the basis of the game of dice. It's a game of repeating numbers, and I'm going to show you real quick how that works. Uh, you come up to the game, and if you roll a 5, a 3, and a 2, you have to roll the number 5 again before you roll a 7. Seven's the number that destroys you. Nine does nothing. Eight does nothing. Seven. You lose. So that's your basis of the game. It's a game of repeating numbers. If you roll a five, you got to hit the five again. So, let me, uh, get my magic pointing stick, my yard stick. What we're going to do, we're going to... We're going to walk up to the dice game, and uh, you're going to buy some chips. You're going to lay your money down, and uh, they're going to give you some chips. So you got yourself a stack of chips, and you don't know what to do. Well, this is the pass line. This is the don't pass. If you're new to the game, we're not going to worry about the don't pass. Pass line. What that means is you believe that the dice are going to pass which means if you roll the number six you believe you're gonna hit that six again before you roll a seven now I got a little good news a little bad news the good news is six is a pretty easy number to hit but I want to show you something here's how the odds of the game are determined there's more ways of rolling a 7 than any other number, okay? And if you want to know how many ways there are, we're going to go just like this. Every dice they consider to be its individual self. So if you roll a 5 and a 2 now, that equals 7. But if this dice would have landed on a 5 and this dice would have landed on a 7, that's the second way. There's two. Six ace. There's three. Ace six. There's four. And I don't know if I did uh, four three or five two, but four three. Where's the three at? Four three or three. Four. Now I'm going to give you guys a simple reminder on how many ways there are to roll each number, okay? You want to do this on the low side. Think of seven as being in the middle. There are six ways to roll a seven. There are five ways to roll a six, a four two, a two four, a five one, a one five, or a three three, which is a hard six. Go down a number. There's four ways to roll the five. A three two, a two three, a four one, and a one four. Three ways to roll the four. Three one, one three, or two two. Now, if you look at the board, imagine seven being in the middle. Okay? And the way I always like to describe it is seven's in the middle. And it opens up like a book. Here's one side, there's the other. Four and ten 
are the hardest numbers to roll. Okay? There's three ways to roll that. There's three ways to roll this. Five and nine. There's four ways to roll these. Six and eight are the easiest. There's five ways to roll this. There's five ways to roll this. Seven. There's six ways to roll the seven. That's right in the middle. You don't see it, but it's there. And there's six ways to roll that. So, pass line is where we're going to start off. We're going to start off putting five dollars on the pass line. Time to roll the dice. Now, I'm glad a seven rolled. Before you have a number, why this is off, when that's off and we don't have a number, seven or eleven is good. Two, three, and twelve are craps. Seven, eleven are good. Two, three, and twelve are bad on the pass line. So right now, we're looking for a number. Nine. Now the game is on. We mark the nine. So, any money on the pass line, everybody on the game, this is why it's such a fun game, everybody has a common denominator. We all want the same number to roll. We all want the nine to roll right now, okay? So, we've rolled a nine. Do we want another number? Do you want to add more numbers? I want to show you something else. The come. Think of the come as the next number to come. So, this is a brand new roll, just like on the pass line. 7-11 you win. 2, 3, 12, you lose. Same as here when we didn't have a number. So we're going to roll a number. 9, a winner. So the dealer is going to come by, pay your pass line. He's going to take your money that was in the come, and it's going to come to the 9. There you go. Now we're starting a brand new game. We turn our puck off. You have money in the nine. It can win and lose right now. If a nine was to roll on the come out roll, you win. If a seven rolls, you lose. But you would win on the pass line. So, let's do it again. Five. Your number's five. The dealer's going to go over here and mark the five. We're on. Right now you have money on the 9. You still have that money on the 9. And now you have money on the 5 because the point's 5. Next, something basic and simple. Do not bet a pass line bet or a come bet unless you plan on taking the odds. Now this is the only true advantage. The house has no advantage in the odds because there's so many ways the numbers can come on the dice. They, they can't influence that. And that's how the odds are determined. So right now, 5 and the 9, they pay the exact same odds. So, every 2 chips you put behind on the pass line, they will win 3 chips if you win. So, we're going to add some odds on here. Now, Bob, can you add odds up here? You sure can. Just hand that to the dealer and say, I'd like odds on my nine. And he'll set it right up there. And you see how it's offset? That way the dealer knows which one's the odds and which one's the original bet. Okay? So now we have a number on the nine. The pass line is on the five. Let's roll those dice again. Five a winner. What do you know? Okay. Here's what's going to happen. Every two chips in the back wins three. You only bet two, but they're going to pay you three. It's always even money on the pass line. The odds are where you make your money. Now, we didn't have any in the money in the come, 
So we're going to turn it off and we're going to start all over again. You get to take all your money back. And we're starting over. The only money we have out right now is this and the money on the nine. Now, let me explain a little something. You cannot have odds working. You can, but they do not work on the come out roll. So, if a seven rolls right now, they actually give you back your odds. And you would lose the flat bet. That's called a flat bet. Your original bet is called the flat bet. So we're going to roll another number and see what happens. Four. The number's four. You're going to love this one. Every chip you put behind here, since that's a harder number to roll, pays double. So if we were to win right now, look at there. You win double whatever you bet even money there. So let's add some odds back there. We have money on the nine. We have money on the pass line. Well, what else can we do? I want to bet more money, you say. Well, each number has built-in odds, okay? Now remember, it opens like a book. In the middle would be this uh, right here. Six and eight open up that way. Five and nine this way. So what that means is these pay the same, 5 and 9 pay the same, 4 and 10 pay the same, 4 and 10 being the hardest to hit. If I'm going too fast, just say, slow down, Bob. I'll show you a whole new bet now. This is going to be called a place bet. You can place money on any number. Now, if you tell the dealer, hey, I'd like to bet on the 10, He'll put your money on the 10. That's why these lines are here. Each position, if you're here, he'll put you here. There, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. It'll hold 10 players. So, you've picked out a number. That's called a place bet. And here's the beauty of a place bet. Four and ten for a place bet pay nine dollars for every five that you bet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You bet five, you win nine. Same thing on the four. Next one, if you were to put money on the nine, the nine pays seven dollars. It'll pay you seven for the five dollars you bet. Same on the five. If you put five dollars here, it pays you seven. Remember, five and nine pay the same, four and ten pay the same, six and eight pay the same. Well, you notice how that was a little bit smaller than the four or ten? Four and ten would pay you nine dollars. This only pays you seven. Well, guess what? The easier the number to hit, the less the payout, but the more often it hits. Seven rolls the very most. That's how the house has its advantage. Six and eight. You have to bet six dollars if you want to pick those numbers out. And guess how much you win? Seven. You have to bet six, and all you're winning is one extra. Six wins seven, but you're still getting more than you bet. And that's the beauty of, of craps. The house has no advantage on the odds. And what they mean by that again is they can't determine the odds of the dice. They're already preset. There's only so many ways you can roll each number. So, I've shown you what a place bet is. You just pick it out. These pay the least, but they roll the most. 5 and 9 are the medium numbers. 4 and 10, they pay the highest, but they're the hardest to hit. Remember, there's only three ways to roll a 10, three ways to roll a 4. Four ways to roll the 5, four ways to roll the 9. Five ways for the 6, five ways for the 8. Okay, so we're going to leave our money out here.
you want to bet something else this looks like a beautiful bet look at all these numbers if 12 11 10 9 4 3 or 2 hit at all you win it's even money in the field a lot of places will give you extra they'll pay double on the 2 triple on the 12 I think Vegas has gone to only double on the uh, 12 now also so we'll see if you'd win 6 no 6 in the field you lose but you win up here so we're gonna go ahead and pay you your seven dollars and that money always stays up there until you want to take it down or until a seven rolls come bets stay up until the number rolls or a seven these you can pull down anytime you want place bets you have the power another bet a lot of casinos don't even offer it anymore you see this six and eight never ever ever bet this this is the only one I'm, I'm going to tell you never to bet. You want to play any other numbers? You want to play the field? You want to play the pass line? You want to play the numbers up there? Have fun. But six and eight are even money. If you go into a casino and it's a five dollar minimum, it's right there. That's why people like to bet it. They have control in and out, in and out. But for six dollars, you're winning seven up here even money over here bet it up here and you can just say hey dealer let me have the six and eight please very very simple that's your basis of the crap game now there's a dark side let's start all over this is called the don't pass Everything I just told you is the opposite now. You have to bet more to win less. Because they say you have the advantage on this stuff. I don't know if I believe all that, but let's try it. 7-11, you lose on the come out roll. So we don't have a point. This is off. Let's see what would happen eight you're stuck on that eight I'm going to show you the difference here you have to bet six dollars and you'll win five plus your original bet if you had a come bet you'd have five five dollars for the odds You're going to even money for your flat bet. That was the original bet. There's your odds. And you're winning extra. Betting five to win six. Here you have to bet six to win five. If you're new to the game, I recommend stay away from the pass line. It's just trouble. If you don't understand something, don't do it. All rules apply. If we roll to six. You have money here. You've laid the odds. Even money here. You're going to get five for the six. If that was a four or ten, watch this. Every two chips you put down for the odds, you only win one plus even money for this one. That's if the seven rolls, that's when you win on these. Okay, so let's clean this up. You got money on the don't pass, and you want another don't. You put it on the don't come, okay? Two, three, you win. Twelve, bar, you don't win. It's a push. So let's roll the dice. Six, a winner. Well, you were hoping for the seven before the six because you don't want the dice to pass. You lose here. Your money goes up. And now, if a six rolls again, you lose. If a seven rolls, you win. 
So you have a choice of the don't pass or the pass line. If you're new to the game, stick with the pass line. Don't bet the pass line unless you're going to back it up with the odds, okay? This is where you make your money is on the odds. 4 and 10. Even money always up front. Double in the back. That's pretty good. Betting 5, you're winning 10. Even money here. Filled, self-explanatory. If you hit the number, there's a lot of numbers out there. There's more ways to lose than there are to win. Even though it looks really pretty and they got it way out here and it's real big and fancy looking. There's way more ways to, roll, uh, to lose than there are to win on this. But uh, some people like it. It's a quick in and out with their money. They have a little control. I recommend two bets. Place bets, I love. Guys rolling. I like the outside numbers because they pay the highest. I'm going to win $9 on this one. 7 for this one. 7 9. Here you got to bet 6 to win 7. Still a great deal because 6s and 8s roll the most. Besides 7. If you have any questions, email me. I'll answer your question. Okay, well, you saw my homemade uh, dice game. Let's try something else. Let's set the camera down. That's right. I have a prop bed area. We're going to get up high for this one. This is the prop bet. Now, sixes and eights, if they roll hard, you win what it says. The six and eight pay 10, 10 to 1. The four and 10 pay less, they pay 8 to 1. Some places it'll be nine for one or seven for one. Odds are different in every casino anymore. So you have your money up. Let's bet a hard six, and let's bet a hard eight. You got your money on those, and look what you're gonna win. All that money, ten to one. Well, if a four deuce rolls. You lost. Now these do stay up. Let's say a 5 rolls. It stays up. A 9 rolls. It still stays. You don't lose this until a 7 rolls or the number comes easy. A 5-1 or a 4 deuce. That would be easy. 3-3 three, three is the hard way. That's why they pay you the extra. Put some money on the hard 8. If a hard 8 comes you win 10 to 1. But if a 5-3 comes or a 6-deuce comes, you lose. Okay, everything below here is one roll. That's why they're going to pay you so much money. There's only one way to roll this number. A 2, there's only one way to get that. A 1 and a 1. They're going to pay you 31 to 1. You're going to win 30 bucks. Here, same thing. A 6 and a 6, there's only one way to roll that. So, I recommend staying away from these. These are fun to throw a dollar on every now and then. Expect to lose it most of the time. Now, 3 and 11. They pay the same. 11 pays 16 to 1. And there are two ways to roll that. A six and a five, or a five and a six. There's two ways. One dice could be on the six, or it could land on the five, and the other one could land on the six. So that is two ways. So they pay about half. That's also a one roll. 
Any craps. That's a one roll bet. Two, three, or twelve. That's craps. Two, three, or twelve. And those are easy to recognize, most of them. The three is not identified in the field as a craps, but the two and there it is, the 12. They're circled and they pay extra in the field. Any seven. Seven does roll the most. That's a one roll bet, though, and it doesn't pay much. It pays five to one. I recommend staying away from the prop bets. Everything up here, except for the hard ways, they're fun to bet, and you can make a little money off those every now and then. Uh, they don't lose right away. I've seen people do pretty good on them. Now, craps and 11. 11 and craps, craps and 11. It's called the C&E. You can bet that for $2. Let me get a couple $1 chips. It's been so long since I've uh, dealt dice that, if I remember right, it's uh, if 11 rolls, it's 7 times your bet, so you'd win $14. If you took it down, that would be 16 If crap rolls, you win uh, 3 times your bet. Take this down, there's your $8. So, some people would bet this just to protect their pass line bet, because if uh, if you lose in the pass line, hey, you just got your money back over here. So this bet's going to be bigger than these bets over here. Basically, stay away from the, the these are called prop bet, proposition bets. And there's so many proposition bets, it's unbelievable. You can actually bet on any number to roll, one roll of the dice. If it hits that roll, you can win quite a bit of money. They have fire bets now, where if you hit three points, you win a whole bunch of money. But if they're doing it, it's to the house's benefit. Okay, let's do a quick review, and then we're going to get out of here. This is the puck. When this is off... We're looking for a point on the pass line. Okay. Get my chips. <clears throat> the only bet you ought to have out is a pass line bet if you like to bet the pass line or a don't pass. If you're new to the game, stick with a pass line bet until you understand the odds. Okay. If we roll a number and the number's five. Put a couple chips back there. I don't care if it's a very small amount or a very large amount. They'll tell you the max amount you can bet. You can't go any amount back here because then you're getting really a good advantage against the house. So the key to craps is if you're going to be playing the pass line or the come, the smallest you can bet on the game goes here with the max you can bet back here. And that can add up to be quite a bit on a $5 game on the 6 and 8. You can bet $5 on the pass line with 5 times your bet in the back. So that's $30 you got invested on one number. Now you do that a few times and get a few numbers. 9 and 5, you can bet 4 times. You got 25 Four and ten, three times. But I'm going to show you something. The payouts are pretty much identical. If the point was four or ten, always even money up front. And you win double in the back. How much did you win? Thirty dollars with the max odds of only fifteen. Okay. Flat bet is even money. Those are your odds. You won double. So you won 30 bucks. Well, let's move right along and new point. Five or nine. You can bet four times your money in the back. Well, it pays three for two. So 20 would win 30. Plus even money up front. 
You're still winning the same amount in the back. Thirty dollars. Four and ten. They're hardest to hit. Oh wait, we're on the five. Uh, we're on the six and eight now. Six and eight. Bet twenty-five, and you win thirty. So if you're going your max odds, pretty much the payout for the odds are going to be the same every time. Another little interesting fact about dice. Whatever number is here, the bottom of the dice is going to equal or total 7. 6 and 1 equals 7. A 2 should be a 5 on the bottom equals 7. Four, whoops, four and three equals seven. That's just a little uh, knowledge of the game. So there's your game, your basic dice game. It's very simple. It's a game of repeating numbers. Pass line is indicated what number you're shooting for. Right now we're shooting for the number five. If you win there, you roll a six. How many money on the pass line is shooting for the number six? Remember, you can pick out numbers anytime you want. You hand the money to the dealer, he'll put it in your correct location. You can bet all the numbers if you want and hope for a good roll. Even though the house has no advantage <coughs> on, the, uh, on the odds of this game because of the dice predetermined that, you have to be able to do one thing. Roll those dice without rolling a seven. Try it sometime. Seven. What I get? Three, four times? Fourth one? Seven. So when you see and hear about somebody rolling for 30 minutes or an hour, that's when you're making all your money. So, it's not that we're dummies. It's just that we didn't know. So this has been Craps for Dummies. And uh, ask your dealer for help, okay? That's one last thing we're going to get into. You got a pass line bet and the dealer's helping you out. You got a friendly dealer. Throw a dollar. Throw two dollars. If he's really friendly, put five dollars out there for him. Okay? He's happy to take any wager you're willing to put. Hell, put $2, point six, put $5 odds for the dealer. Load yourself up on odds, and now you're both in the game. You think that dealer's not ready to have you win? He wins, you win. You can bet the dealers on the six and eight. This, give me a two-way hard six. Dealer's bet goes in the middle. There's your bet. He'll put you in the correct location. Okay, that's 50 bucks you both win. You think the dealer doesn't want you to hit that hard six? You darn tootin' he does. So ask your dealer for help. What I like to do is you're unknowledgeable. Say, hey, walk up just like that. That's for the dealer. That's for you. Put a couple dollars back there for the dealer. Ask the dealer, hey, what's the max odds I can take for you? He'll tell you. What's the max odds I can take for me? He'll tell you. And guess what? If you like to bet that come every time and you forget, he's going to remind you. He's going to say, hey, Paul or Jim or Susan, make sure you get your come bet out there. Or if you like to bet certain numbers, the inside numbers or the outside numbers, he's going to take care of you. He's going to let you know, hey, we got a point of six. Did you want the four and ten like you always like to bet? So take care of your dealers. They're there to help you. And uh, it turns out to be just as much fun for them as it does for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. I will get back with you. Thanks for watching.